In this video, I'll show you how to make a door close warning sound for the Wamata subway cars on this game. Now, making make to make a door close warning sound, it's only going to work on trains that actually already have a sound file for it. If they don't already have one, then you're basically wasting your time trying to create one for it. But these subway cars actually these come with a um sound effect for the doors opening and closing. I'm gonna make a new file to replace the ones they already have, and it's gonna sound like the sound the um the real the real subway cars make when they open and close. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download this um this thing called um YouTube to Wave. It's something that converts YouTube videos to wave files. It has to be a dot wave file or the game won't understand it. Next, I have to look for a video that has the sound I'm looking for. It has to be a video of the train that that contains the sound of the doors opening and the sound of it closing, or to, or just either one of them. If but if it only contains one of the sounds, I have to look for another video to find the other ones. That's. That's one of the sounds I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need from this video, and that's the other sound I'm gonna need. So this video has what I'm looking for. Next, um, take the um, URL of the video and copy it, and then click paste URL, and then it gives you a list of files to convert it to. Okay, I'm going to convert it to a, hmm, I don't see a, a dot .wave anywhere. Uh, it looks like I downloaded the wrong thing by accident. Uh, now I'm downloading something called Freemake Audio Converter. Okay, now now I figured out how to use the um, system. I'm using the Freemake Video Downloader to um, paste the URL. Okay, I'm going to download it in high quality or whatever. Okay, so the video download just in uh, just completed. So now I'm going to open this thing called Freemake Audio Converter. Let's see. Okay, I click file and then I open the um the video file. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to come. Okay, save to. I guess that's okay. Convert. Okay, now the, the video's been converted to a .wav file. Now I'm going to open it with this program called Audacity in order to edit the file and just get the sounds from the video that I want. So I'm going to click Import. Audio, it's gonna be, it, it put it in a music file. Okay, here it is. Okay, just click OK. Now it's loading. While it's doing that, I'm gonna open two more of these to make the two files that I want, that I'm trying to create out of them. I'm going to uh, one one program to make the opening sound and another one for the closing sound. Okay, now I just need to search for the um part of the video I'm looking for. Let's see. Is there a zoom in button? Let's see what this Okay, here we go. It's under view. Okay, I think it's somewhere around here. Oh, I clicked on the wrong button. Okay, now I'm going to like, I'm going to just um, scroll to the section I'm looking for. Okay, let's see. Where is it? Okay, that's the part that I need to 
copy. Okay, I'm just gonna copy this part then. Okay, to copy it, I think it's, um, edit. Oh, how do I copy it? I think, let me see. Okay, it has to be paused for you to copy something. Okay, let me see. It, hmm, still won't let me copy it. Okay, I think I found the um, copy um, icon. Okay, let's see. I think that copied it. Okay, so I'm going to paste what I copied in here, or at least I'm going to try to do that. Hmm, it's not working. Okay, since I can't figure out how to copy and paste in this thing, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try a different method. I'm just going to import it on another window. And then edit both of them. I don't need this anymore. Okay. I'm not sure why, but now it's actually letting me copy, so... I click edit and then I click copy on the section that I highlighted. This is the section where the um, door is open. Now I'm going to put that area in here. Click edit and then paste. Hmm. Where is it? Is it still loading? Okay, let's see if it copied correctly. Okay, that sounds okay. So I'm going to um, fi click File and then click Export. Now I'm going to save it as a .wav file. Let's see, where am I going? I usually put these in the download file. So I guess that's okay. So click Save. I'm not sure what all this is, but I usually just click OK. Okay, now that I successfully created a sound file for the doors opening, I'm going to do the exact same thing, and this time just uh, create a sound of the doors closing. Okay, let's see. I need to find the actual section. Okay, I think this much is okay. So, edit and copy and then just paste that here but first I have to delete what's over here okay I click the paste now let's see if it's um Uh, I didn't get all, all the sound. Okay, now let's see. Okay, I guess that sounds okay. So now I'm going to save this. File. Export. Save as .wav file. Oh, I forgot to rename it. I'll just call it door close and rename it later. Okay, now now that we're finished with that, I don't need to save this because I already got the um, files that I need. Don't need to save that either. Okay, okay, this is the subway car I'm going to use the sound on. First thing I did was rename this so I can make sure that I'm using the right subway car. Let's see, where are the sound files kept? Okay, here they are. They're called Marta Door and Marta Door Close. The, the sound files I'm going to use, I have to rename... I had to give them these names so that the um, file will um, recognize them. So I'll just paste the files here. This is door closed. I had to rename it. 
to say Marta door closed so that the file will recognize it. But first I, oh wait, before I rename it, I have to get rid of the original one. So this is the Marta door close. Delete that. And then rename the other file. Where'd it go? Here it is. Call it. Oh, it has to be in lowercase. Marta door close. Now the now the game is gonna use that sound file when the doors close on this train. Now I have to do the exact same thing for the other sound file. Okay, here's the door opening file I created. I just have to copy that and then paste it to the file of this the editing file of this um train car. So I paste it here. Okay, now I have to rename it to Marta Door after I get rid of this one. Okay, now that I changed it to Marta Door, it's going to recognize that as the door opening sound. Let's see, there was something else I wanted to edit on this. Unfortunately, editing the sound creates a repeat uh, error where the sound keeps repeating itself. To do that, change this number that said under repeat delay, the one that says 1, change that to 2, and then the one that says 0, change that to 2 as well. I have no idea why, because I'm not, I'm not a sound expert, but that fixes the glitch. Do the same thing for the Marta door close sound. Where is it? Where it says one, change that number to two for under repeat delay, and where it says zero, change that to two as well. And then save it. And then commit it. Next, I'm going to test this sound to make sure it works. Okay, now for the moment we've all been waiting for. Door control. Hold on. Open the doors on the... Hold on. Okay, opening the doors on the left. Uh, some kind of weird sound glitch happened. I have no idea what caused that. Let's see what the door closed sound sounds like that. Okay, there's something wrong with the um, sound the sound files on this train. I'm gonna have to re-download it to fix the to fix a problem and set it back to normal. I have no idea how sound works on this game. This is the first time I've had this problem. I'm guessing it's a uh, problem specifically with this subway car. But oh well, I guess you can't edit the um, sound files that, that this subway car has.